Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to add a guest in StreamYard. So let's get to it. If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you know when we have new content that comes out. If you don't know what StreamYard is, it's an extremely powerful browser-based broadcast software that you can go live on YouTube and Twitch and Twitter and pretty much any other platform you want. It's really easy to use and adding guests is such an amazing feature. A huge benefit to using a browser-based broadcast software is that it doesn't use a lot of computing power on your end. So if you don't have a powerful computer, it doesn't mean that you can't put together amazing live broadcasts and even add guests. When adding a guest in StreamYard, keep in mind that you can add a guest at any time even before the broadcast has started. So you probably want to invite your guests early, add them to your broadcast, and just make sure that their microphones and everything work properly before you actually go live. If you want to check out StreamYard for yourself, there's a link in the description. You won't be disappointed. To get your invite link, you just click invite right here and you can go and there's a couple of different ways that you can share your link. You can share it through your email or you can just copy it to your clipboard shared through Google Hangouts, Facebook Messenger, or even text. So I've invited Michael T. from Tech Examine to show off this feature. He should be on his way in here now. Testing, testing, one, two, three. I got that right there. Standard resolution, we'll do 720. And that mic is working. Test, 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 testing, one, two, three. Okay, Michael T. Entering the broadcast. I'm backstage. Backstage, I feel like I'm important. I'm backstage. I'm in the green room. So as you can see, Michael's entered the broadcast studio right over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to add him to our broadcast right now. He can hear me, but I can't hear him. And of course, the audience can't see or hear him either. All I have to do to add him is go ahead and click on him right here. And boom, Michael's on the broadcast. Hello, Hello Michael. How now? are you? I can hear you now. So these buttons here can be used to change the layout. If I click on this one, you can see that both Michael and I are a little bit smaller and it shows off the background, which I think is super cool. Let's say we're having a conversation and Michael has a big point. I can go ahead and click this button right here. It solos him. And I can talk. That's right. If I click it again, it unsolos him and we go to the full. When you do this, my microphone is still live, so we can have the conversation even though he's in full screen. You don't want to do this by removing yourself from the broadcast oh, to make yeah, someone else you bigger. you can't be heard. Exactly. You can't hear That's the bad. person who removed themselves. You want to use the solo button when you can. So that covers the layout buttons. The only thing left is for us to go live. When you see how easy it is to add a guest in StreamYard, you're probably going to want to know more. Well, there's a link in the description. And if you check out this video right here, it walks you through everything you can do in StreamYard. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss a new video. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.